Hey what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. In the next few videos within this playlist I'll be teaming up with Xfinity to showcase several recipe recreations from a few very popular shows as part of their TV diner at Comic Con this year where you'll actually be able to feast on your favorite shows. But before we get started on the first one let me show you a key clip from Game of Thrones to see what I'll be whipping up. If you find her, could you give her this? You should like the last one I gave her but... This one turned out better. Um, you were saying? Now they don't really give a recipe for the dire wolf bread, uh, so I'm kind of on my own with this one, but I feel like I know what I want to do with it, so let's dive into the recipe. All right, so to get this started, you're gonna add in all-purpose flour, granulated white sugar, and cold diced butter to a mixing bowl. Then you're gonna blend it all together with a fork until it is mealy. After that, you're gonna add in the baking soda, then whisk together a whole egg into a separate bowl along with the milk and some vanilla extract. Add that to the dry ingredients and mix for three to four minutes until it just starts to come together. But don't worry if you still have a few lumps of butter left here and there. Once the scone dough has come together, you're gonna to take it out of the bowl and onto your working surface. Then you're gonna roll it out to about no less than half of an inch thick. Cover with plastic and allow it to stiffen up in the fridge for about 45 minutes. But after that is done, you're gonna take it back out of the fridge, roll it out one more time to get a really flat surface on top. Then using your handy dandy Game of Thrones wolf bread stencil, which I will have a link to in my description, begin sketching out your dire wolf bread to your best ability. All right, so when the stenciling, sketching, and cutting is all done, you're gonna place it onto a metal baking tray, sprinkle it with a little sea salt, and toss it into an oven that's set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, or until you feel like it looks exactly how it does in the show. And in this case, it was a little slightly overcooked trying to achieve that goal, but I must say it does look really, really good and very similar to Hot Pie's version. And that's it guys, this was my version of Hot Pie's direwolf bread from Game of Thrones. Turned out really, really well. I almost don't want to eat it because <laughs> it's so cool, but I kind of have to because I want to test it out. So I don't know what should I go for, the tail? Tail or the head? Tail or the head? Let's do the legs. Mm. It's almost like a savory cracker scone. I guess the best way I'd put it a little sea salt on top. Obviously you can mix in, you know, dried fruit, nuts, or, you know, anything like that to make it a little bit more interesting, but I really wanted to keep it as plain as possible just so I can get the aesthetic of the wolf. This is really cool. I wish I had a cup of tea actually, because it would be perfect with this. Really crunchy. I'm sure towards the center of it, it's a little bit more soft. All in all, it turned out really exactly how I wanted to. So if you guys enjoy my channel, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel, and I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.
If you guys enjoyed the recipe I made today, and if you're going to Comic-Con, which is this week, go check out the Xfinity TV Diner, and you can try some of the TV dinners just like these. Also, be sure to stick around for my next video, where I create a spicy rocket spring roll from one of the explosive scenes in the show Luke Cage. It's gonna be a fun recipe, so stick around, and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you.